Suppose we want to estimate or predict on average maximum speed with 150 feet high roller coaster. The point estimate of the maximum speed can be calculated by plugging 150 in X and solve the equation for Y hat, which is 63.2677 mile per hour. On average, maximum speed with 150 feet high roller coaster is about 63.2677 mph. In the figure, this is the value on the blue regression fitted line when x is 150. Since y hat value is depending on beta naught hat and beta one hat, it also had some variation. Had some variation. We can talk about interval estimate of y hat. The gray area around the blue line is showing the automatically calculated 95% confidence interval for y hat. There are two different interval estimates for y hat. One is the confidence interval of the expected y value, and the other one is for the prediction interval of a single individual y value. In the roller coaster example, we can imagine one might be interested in the core, uh, confidence interval of the average maximum speed with 150 feet maximum height. Or one might be interested in prediction interval of the maximum speed for one particular roller coaster with 150 feet maximum height. Y, ha y hat depends on uh, beta naught hat and beta one hat, which follows normal distribution. Thus, y hat also follows normal distribution. With some math, which we skip here, confidence interval and prediction interval can be calculated using the following formula with t distribution. Notice that two intervals looked, uh, look very similar, but the prediction interval has extra one under the square root. This makes the prediction interval to have a little bigger margin of error than the confidence interval. The margin of error in uh, the term uh, is the term after plus minus sign. Thus, the prediction interval will be wider than the confidence interval. This um, intuitively makes sense since predicting a single y is harder and has more variation than estimating the mean of y. We will not calculate these intervals by hand, but R uh, will calculate them for us. It is more important to interpret them correctly. Um, the predict function, predict function will calculate those intervals. Again, we fit linear regression using LM function and stored in model one. In the predict function, a specific X value goes inside of the uh, list option and we can specify whether we want to calculate a confidence interval or prediction interval. Unless it is specified differently, 95% is default. Uh, both 95% confidence interval and uh, prediction interval are calculated here. The fit column gives y hat value. We can say 95%, uh, we are 95% confident that the mean maximum speed of the 150 maximum height roller coaster is between 60.97565 and 65.55978. We can also say uh, we are 95% confident that the maximum speed of a particular roller coaster uh, with the 150 maximum height is between 
48.25479 and 78.28064 mph. We can also draw some uh, draw both confidence interval and prediction interval on the scatter plot. Confidence interval will be automatically drawn on the plot by the zeom underlying smooth function. We can manually draw the prediction intervals on the graph. Notice that the prediction interval was saved in temp dot uh, temp underline uh, var. And we can draw the red lines of uh, using a uh, red line uh, using the z ohm underline line function. We want to draw lower bound and upper bound prediction interval using y is equal to lwr and y is equal to upr upper prediction interval and lower prediction interval. Color red is specified and line type was chosen to be dashed line. In the plot, notice that the prediction interval is wider than confidence interval as we discussed in the formula.